Cameron back again for another Tweak Town video. I'm here at the Gigabyte headquarters in Taipei. Um, now, we saw some of these at CES, and we're seeing the latest version of these boards now, and these are the third generation, fourth generation um, supported Intel Z77 boards. That's what Gigabyte told us, that they're the second and third generation um, supported boards. We know, that we were told to say that, but we know they're actually uh, Ivy Bridge boards. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the G1 Sniper 3. Uh, you have a quick look at the specifications here. Now if we go to the board, which is what you're going to be most interested in, um, no big gun heatsink here. It's been, it's, uh, it's a smaller sort of design here with uh, just a small little uh, skull and a, a knife held in his mouth, you can see here. Uh, this has support for uh, three-way SLI, as you can see here, and it's got uh, four-way uh, crossfire support. Really large uh, heat sinks, as you can see here. Sort of oversized, bigger, I, I believe, than the previous model. Um, you have creative um, Core 3D sound support. This is this setup here. It's all shielded um, to improve the sound quality and uh, uh, to minimize uh, interference. Um, M Sider slot here, you can see right there. Uh, if we come around to the connectivity on the board, um, you can see uh, six USB 3 ports there, DVI, VGA, uh, and uh, audio there. There's two LAN ports, one of them is uh, Intel Gigabit, and the other one is Bigfoot uh, Networking. Um, this board also supports uh, Lucid technology. Um, there's some pretty interesting stuff going on there, which is able to um, Lucid with the Virtue um, MVP. It's able to really improve performance, graphics performance, which we're going to look at a little bit in the future. Now, if we come over, this is the this is the high-end board. There's no overclocking board at the moment, so at the moment this one has got all the overclocking uh, features packed onto it. The G1 Sniper 3. Move over to the left. We have the UD5, Z77 UD5. Quick look at the features there, and we'll show you the board. It's um, kind of similar, it's got some similar features to the G1 Sniper 3, um, but instead of um, 3 and 4 way SLI and uh, crossfire support, it just has 2 way SLI and 2 way crossfire support, as you can see here. Again, a fairly large heatsink um, design. Actually, it looks almost the same as the G1 Sniper 3. It's just missing a cooling assembly here, um, which, which is here. Though. This is the PLX bridge, which provides extra uh, PCI Express lanes, and the UD, uh, UD5 does not have it. Um, so let's look at the UD5H. I'll just show you the connectors quickly. Uh, it's fairly similar to the UD5H, uh, less USB 3 ports, um, still dual LAN. Now we move over, coming down again, this is the UD3H, you can see Z77X UD3H, some of the specifications there, uh, a cheaper board again, uh, similar to the UD5H, it just, you know, as you go down it drops some features. Um, you can still see micro um, SATA connector here. Uh, the heat, uh, the heat, the cooling is more basic. It's not as advanced as the other boards as you can see there. Um, and then I'll show you the connectors again. Uh, similar, kind of. This has got four USB 3 ports and just a single uh, gigabit LAN. Now we come down. And now this is the first um, Sniper Micro ATX board, and it's the G1 Sniper M3. Again, it's based on the Z77 chipset. You can see some of the features there. Um, and there's pro there has been, Gigabyte has had quite a bit of demand for a Micro ATX board. Um, so you could build, put this board here into a system like this one over here, as you can see. That's a thermal tape case. So for smaller systems, maybe someone will carry that around to a LAN. Um, you'll be able to uh, squeeze in a micro ATX board. Uh, it is micro ATX, so it is, um, it is small. You still get two-way SLI and two-way um, 
crossfire support and it still does have like looking features um, I know for a fact Shane our motherboard reviewer is excited to test this uh, he does like micro ATX boards and he's happy to see a, a you know high-end board with a lot of features you know you've got the core 3d uh, sound support I believe in this in this board um, now if I show you the IO connectors again here you can see um, VGA DVI uh, two two USB three ports, um, basic sort of cooling setup, but it look, does look really good. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a popular board um, for people looking to build smaller systems. So this has been a look at four of the Gigabyte Z77 boards that will be coming onto the market fairly soon. Not not quite yet, but they're not they're not too far away either. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that and come back again soon for more video content from Tweaktown.